Gamer Dude 2088, and let's talk about Destiny 2 Beta. Talk about my thoughts on the whole thing and kind of what's going on with the community of Destiny right now. Because I see a couple videos out on YouTube, actually plenty of videos, where everybody's bashing the game, just like pretty much putting it down. I haven't really watched a lot of them, but uh, but for the few that I did watch, it's pretty much the same thing. You know, people just saying the game is the same as Destiny 1, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I kind of expect that. And I, I was a year one player. I did a little bit of year two, but really didn't get into it because of my friends just was... They, they all abandoned me. Like, I had a, a point where my Xbox was down. I couldn't play for a while, so everybody abandoned me. And when I came back, nobody wanted to help. So I just like, fuck it. I just find a new game to play, which ended up being Overwatch, which my YouTube content for that ended up being, like, destroyed. So let's just get on topic. I wasn't able to play a lot of it, but for the amount of gameplay I did do, I kind of try to dig deep, sink my teeth into it as much as I can, play it with a friend or two or whatever, and I, I, I enjoyed it from my experience. From my experience, I enjoyed it, and I see a lot of people didn't like a lot of the changes that were made. Uh, to this one versus what was going on in the first one and it's kind of funny because I remember a lot uh, the changes that I'm hearing people talk about that they didn't like was the same changes that people were crying about that we didn't have and now it's like come on guys they gave us what we want and now we don't want it and I think just like most games this is getting a hype that it doesn't deserve and it's getting a dislike that it doesn't deserve as well. Now, one thing that I do find interesting is some of what the developers were talking about and everything. I, I saw the E3 conference about it, but I don't quite remember everything that was said. But the one thing that st stuck out the most was them saying uh, 50 cutscenes or something like that. And that, that, that's pretty good because that it was pretty lackluster in the first one. There was little to no story. It's like you didn't feel like you were really a part of the story, like you were really engaged. It was like, yo, Guardian, aliens, shoot, done. And that's pretty much was, was the game. And then PvP, whatever. And it's like, come on, we needed more. We needed more. From what they say, they're going to give us more so far from what I'm seeing and just the beginning of the game it seems like it's just so in depth like this is the story that we deserve to have and i definitely appreciate every bit of this bungee i appreciate it so much that you're giving us what we really deserve to have in this game the inverted spire that kind of reminds me of a bootleg atheon once you get to the boss but it was a pretty cool strike to do i i enjoyed doing this strike it it, it was fun Going through it and just tackling things and killing shit. Just the, the, the simple, the simple normal PVE. It doesn't seem like from from the beta that it's anything too much different with the PVE. It's practically, practically the same kind of play style, the same kind of fighting during the PvP. I mean, the PvE, excuse me. For this, I, I don't really think that highly of it. I enjoy it just because I like the gameplay. I like how this game feels and everything. And for a beta, it was actually pretty smooth. I, I, I expect betas to be real choppy and laggy, hard to really get into the matches, maybe servers drop. But uh, for a beta, they really did great with this game. At least on my end, it came out great. I'm not sure how everyone else connectivity was, but for for my end of this gameplay, it was smooth. I mean, even speeding it up, you it doesn't look like it's jumping or skipping around. Yeah, it it really was smooth. It, I I didn't miss a beat. I didn't really like felt like uh, it was a bad beta at all. Now, it might not have been what I, everything I might have wanted or what everybody else might have wanted for a beta test. But once again, it's just still a test. You know, th they want feedback so they can know what direction that they should continue to go in or what direction that they probably shouldn't go in. Little bits and changes that they can make to improve on the gameplay in general for the community to have just the final tweaks because the game itself 
the game itself seems like it's going to be real, real great and complete and concise and whatever that they plan for us to have. So I definitely want to see what secrets that they have that they're not sharing, what that they going to put into the game that's just going to improve the gameplay altogether. Now, I hope there will be more to the strikes than what this one's provided and what the strikes in the past have provided. Hopefully, there will be a lot more to come there. Now, it's been quite some time since I've played a shooter. I haven't really played one in a while. So, I was a little rusty coming into this. Had me a few good kills here and there. Was getting worked over like the first hour or so into the PvP. Can't shoot to save my life. Just, I was having like a hit and miss kind of game. But I do, I do enjoy the changes that they made as far as the PvP. The PvP seems real fluent for me. And I... I like the nerf that they did to the melee as well as the grenades. That was perfect. That's kind of what we needed because the Destiny 1, the PvP was like spam nades if you can. Melee everything because it's easy kill. And at the same time, it was all about like just dropping super after super after super and heavy ammo. They did nerf the heavy ammo and in year two, I believe, or at the end of year one, the change that they made in this version in Destiny 2, it, it's it's great in my opinion. I know a lot of people are hating this. They, they probably even hate me saying it right now, but I don't give a fuck. For the people that do, it shows how good you guys really were at this game. No matter how great you did, no matter your KDs. None of that stuff. Like, you probably wasn't as good as you think you were. Because, why? It takes no skill to spam heavy ammo. Because it's overpowered. There's nothing you can do. It's no. It takes no skill to spam a super and melees. And even though grenades are like a, are like strategic value. But it, it, it was just overpowered at spam crazy or just it just made the game a lot a lot difficult in a sense like I, I i can't explain it the best but what it what this change has made it made it so people can be more skill based it takes a lot more skill because you're using your primary weapon more so than anything and that's that's critically important since your primary source of damage is going to be your primary weapon now throwing grenades is not as prevalent as it used to be. You throw a grenade, you can't expect to just shoot twice and then the enemy dies. You have to be a lot more accurate with your gunfire if you're throwing a grenade for a pickup kill or if you're initiating combat with a grenade. And that, that brings about a lot more strategy. At first, I thought it was the greatest thing ever, but as I kept playing, I noticed that the grenade is a little underpowered and maybe a 10% increase in the damage output the grenade does will be beneficial for the game on release. I don't think it will be too little that it would still do like baby dick damage, but it wouldn't be a lot like you just got shoved up your ass with a BBC. Don't look that up online, people. As further as the melee go, uh, I like it the way it is. It's it's pretty cool in the position it is in, in the beta. I think that will be great for it to stay the same on release, personally. But I noticed one thing with the supers. When I was colliding with a hunter, we bounced off of each other. I lost sight of him, and then he killed me. And I caught bullshit on it, but no, that was real shit. I shouldn't have lost sight of him. And when... That happened, I was like, whoa, that was pretty cool. Because before, if it was like a hunter versus a hunter, you were like slashing at each other, something like that. You, it, it would just like glitch out and somebody would get the kill or whatever. Now, just saying that it's a possibility for your weapons to collide. So, you have to reset and keep keep at it until someone dies. That is great. That, that little tweak, that little change is going to be epic. It's going to give a lot more strategy for us to have while playing against each other and everything in that sort. I noticed a lot of changes with the supers. That's 
great the way they changed it. Now, I know some people was talking about the charge on the Supers was real short. It should charge a little faster. I don't think so, but even if it did, like, not too much. Having one Super a match isn't too bad. Maybe even, maybe even two Two is a possibility, but you have to do really well to get two. That would be cool, but uh, I like supers being that deciding factor if a match goes on for too long. That that's that's pretty cool. Like just being that that like all right, you guys were like really dishing it out again against, against each other. No one has won yet, so you get a super, and then who? Uh, it's the battle of the supers for the final battle of the match before it's over. Before just like one person just gets on a pretty decent streak, and then they get a couple supers, and they just keep shitting on everybody because you can't stop a super. It's nothing. It's nothing really. Really, you're gonna do in most cases when someone uses their super against you so it's so it's like this kind of brings about more strategy since you have to use your primary weapons a lot more you can't just super your way out of it then on another note going into special ammo it was crazy in destiny 1 well at least in destiny 2 the special weapon is pretty much another primary i mean they they Classify it as a second primary weapon, but it uses the special ammo to fill it. But with Destiny 2, they moved the normal special weapons into the heavy slot, which I think was great, great, because, I mean, like, no more icebreaker shenanigans. I love the icebreaker, but damn that gun. And no more fusion rifle and shotgun shenanigans. Like, just changing that all up. Now it's, a, now it's all heavy weapons. And that was, like, something interesting. I find that pretty cool because before you could just, like, the game was where you just spammed special weapons. You didn't even use the primary. The primary slot was just because you ran out of special ammo or you had to reload. That's what you use your primary weapon for. But generally it was just like, yo, know, shotgun slide, shotgun slide, fusion rifle around the corner, whatever how uh, people do fusion rifle. I usually slide fusion rifle too you know, with the pre-charge happen or come around a corner already pre-charging. You can just hear me revving up as soon as I come around. Boom, boom, done. That kind of situation with the fusion rifle and just, uh, I just bring the icebreaker and i don't have to grasp at, uh any special ammo and then they end up nerfing it in destiny one they had to nerf it like they had to nerf it because it was just too o overpowered so it was a at the point where you just had to uh force your way into getting the special ammo so the opponent uh doesn't get it get it but moving into the heavy slot is pretty cool and then the heavy coming around uh a few times it's like the heavy was pretty frequent during the match so it's like, you know, pick and choose what you're going to use, what you're going to do. People, people was using shotguns, people were using snipers, fusion rifles, people were using everything in the game or whatever. And it, it was interesting. I enjoyed, I enjoyed that part of the game. And this is mostly my thoughts on what I think about the Destiny 2 beta as it is, because chances are it's going to be a little different when the game actually comes out. And I'm looking forward to this game. And I'm looking forward to playing with a, a lot of you guys out there. Hopefully, we can get something going. If you're playing with me, quit your guild if you're in a guild because we're, we're starting a guild. If you are already a part of um, the 2088 community, then, you know, Z ZP is going to be a thing. You know, we're going to bring Zodiac Prime to Destiny 2. So, definitely uh, get the game and be a part of that, play with me, I'll be on Xbox One to start, but I'm thinking I'm going to pick it up on all platforms, if possible, but I'm definitely going to start out on Xbox One, uh, shout out to Dayside for donating, uh, Xbox Live for a year for me, and donate in Destiny 2, I definitely appreciate you, uh, looking out, bro, and this is the Gamer Dude sign-in, out. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and enjoyed my thoughts on on the game and the changes that were made because I, once again, I enjoyed it. I don't think it was a bad beta. I don't think it sucked like a lot of you out here are saying. Hopefully, it doesn't be exactly the same in a lot of the sense as the first one is because I'm expecting it to be the same. I don't want to have my hopes too high. Like, a lot of people want to have their hopes too high, and a lot of people are complaining about, well, it's just the same game over again. 
But I will see you guys in another video once the once Destiny 2 will release. We'll have some YouTube videos for that coming out. And much love to you guys out there. Deuces.